Hello everybody, this is Yasmin from YarkSpiryFantasyArt.com and today I'll be going through uh, two different tools uh, that you may not have heard of. Uh, the first one is the History Brush Tool and the second one is the Art History Brush Tool. Both of these work in a similar manner but do have some slight deviations. Now before we begin, uh, what I actually have to do is I have to actually duplicate um, my background layer because it's all been flattened. And I also need my history open for this. So as you can see, I've duplicated the layer. I've also uh, created a new layer that I'm currently going to fill in. So I've just filled it in with a, a bright yellow color just so you can see the difference in what's going to occur. Now, what the history brush actually does is it goes back in your history once you've selected that point in history you want to go back to and it allows you to paint in uh, areas that you want to go back in history for. So let's say I change this entire image to a grayscale image and I just want certain colors to show. Uh, I have two options. I can actually create a uh, filter using, I could uh, create a, a filter adjustment layer in order to achieve that effect and apply the changes to a mask, or I can actually use uh, the history brush tool instead. So for this example, I'm going to be using the History Brush tool just so I can show you how it actually works. Now, I do have to have, once again, like I said, my history open. So make sure you open that before you start. I also need to go to the point where I've duplicated my background in this case because uh, that's where I want to go back to the changes. And I have to actually click on this little square here to enable uh, that setting to refer to it. So now, when I use the brush tool, I can literally paint in areas that I want to go back in history from. Very similar to um, the actual brush tool, the normal one, uh, I do have my full selection of brushes that I can choose from. I can modify this brush. I could change the blending mode behind it. I could change the opacity. Uh, and I can also change the flow. So those attributes have not changed with this brush at all. Those all remain uh, standard. They're not going to change for it. The only time uh, these ch these settings actually change is when I start using the Art History Brush Tool. Essentially what that tool will do is it will actually um, go in and add textures uh, to your image. And now when I click the Art History Brush Tool, I have to select uh, the layer that I want to modify. So I want to select, uh, click the box here to enable the Art History Brush, and it needs to be at the duplicated layer. If I don't do that, I won't be able to do any of the changes. Now I can go up here and I can change uh, the type of blending that will occur. And depending on the size of my brush, as you can see, it's going to actually paint this in. Now what it's doing is it's actually uh, sampling the information behind it to give it more of a painted look. Now if I reduce my brush size here, you'll notice that it's actually uh, sampling smaller colors and it's actually closer to the original image. So you can actually start to make out the character behind it. You can almost make out the words now too. So if I make this even smaller, it's going to show up in even more detail. And it's it's given this image a more painted look than what it originally had. So if I zoom in, you'll see that it actually resembles uh, brush strokes or oil brush strokes. Um, and that's this is an easy way to achieve that with an existing picture or image that you may have. Now depending on uh, which one I choose, I could use uh, a curl one as well. And I'm uh, just going to increase the brush size here so you can see it. You can see it adds more circles. I can decrease the size as well then it becomes uh, more accurate. So the smaller the brush, the more accurate uh, it is to the original source material. 
And this is just a really simple example of how you can use uh, the art brush tool as well as the history brush tool. Um, in most cases, you're probably not going to need this brush if you're actually doing uh, digital painting. You would use this maybe if you're trying to achieve a more painted look. Uh, there is another tool that will achieve it as well, though. If you go in your brush, uh, you can actually use the mixer brush tool and you can actually paint in brush effects that way as well. This is a little bit simpler for those of you who uh, may not be painters or who are trying to achieve that effect. Now anybody who knows Photoshop though will recognize the fact that you did this um, and it's it's not exactly uh, a tool that you'll use every day. You may end up using uh, the regular history brush tool if you're uh, modifying an image and essentially uh, converting it all to grayscale and painting in the colors. But like I said before, there's many multiple ways of doing or achieving this effect. It's really up to you which one you want to try. So that's it for this week's tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys soon. So thank you and take care.